Welcome to Josh's Green Garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you real quick how to make a hydraulic pressure test gauge. All right, so you only need a couple things for this. Uh, and of course, check the description. I'll put what all these different parts are and where you can get them. Um, the first thing we need is, of course, a gauge. Now, this one is an oil-filled gauge. Um, <clears throat> the range on it here is 0 to 3,000 PSI. This would be good for an X700, or, I mean, if you're watching this video from something else, uh, my channel specializes in the John Deere X700 size tractors. Uh, so if you have a bigger tractor, you may have uh, a higher range that you need to do. Um, but something like this could work for... You know any tractor really um we're just gonna put an egg fitting on it and we'll be good to go um this is a quarter inch npt uh ag fitting i got um this one seems like it's really really nicely machined and made um it even comes with you know a little cap of course uh, so you can keep it nice and clean when not in use so we'll need that on there and then i have some uh thread tape um Probably better to do something with hydraulics with actual like a thread sealant. Uh, however, this is just a tester and not something that's going to be like plumbed into a tractor. Um, so I'm just going to use this for this. Um, and then I just got a couple wrenches to put together. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it together. Uh, first, I'm just going to pull the cover off here. Apply some thread tape. And I gotta think, put it on this direction. That way, as I put on the connector, it'll continue to push the tape into the threads. From there, I'm gonna take this cover off, put it over there, that way it locks on. Take out this little plastic cap and just start threading this on. Put the cover on there. Well, I'll do that later once I get done tightening this. Now, it does specify that when doing this, um, you don't want to tighten uh, with the gauge. You want to put your wrench on the, you know, that this brass fitting in the bottom here. Um, that way, you're not damaging the gauge or anything. So, we're going to put one on there. One on there, and then just start tightening it down. These are quarter inch NPT threads. It's a quarter inch um, ag style hydraulic fitting. So that should seal pretty well on the threads. I'm not gonna go ridiculously tight. That should do it. And there you go. Really simple to put together. Um, pretty cheap to to buy these parts. I think altogether this is maybe like 20 bucks. So pretty easy. And then the fact that this is, you know, a, a quick connect, uh, you could really make anything to this. If you wanted like a longer hose, you could do so. Just put a female end on it and then a male on the other end. I mean, you could do any anything you want really with how you connect this to different things. You could adapt it to different size um, ag fittings. You know, if it's bigger than a quarter inch, whatever you need. So that's that. I'm gonna get the tractor out and then just show you some use. All right, so I got this X758 out here. I let it run for a couple minutes to kind of let it warm up, let everything get up to temperature. Uh, now, a different tractor, you're gonna kind of have to figure out which control is gonna work which, but uh, for the 700s, um, the green and black circuit here, uh, the lower uh, lever is what controls those circuits, and then the upper lever upper lever is what controls uh the silver and yellow there so <clears throat> in order to use the upper um i'm going to need to put my gauge somewhere down here now first thing you're going to want to do is relieve hydraulic pressure from those circuits so with the machine off uh, i'm just going to go ahead and cycle the lever forward and back that way it releases any build up pressure um, 
I don't know that you'd very easily be able to hook that onto one of these uh, if you didn't. Now, I'm just gonna undo my little covers there, nice and dirty, and then connect my gauge, just like so. Then I'm now gonna start the tractor up and uh, bring it up to a pretty high RPM uh, with these. I mean, you're gonna get more pressure the higher RPM. Um, I want to say these are somewhere above 900, like in the 950 range, uh, set from factory. I know there's some guys out there with these that want to do loader work and stuff. And some of the older X700s, uh, fours and 500s, uh, they get into shimming, uh, the implement valve, and then they can get higher pressures up over a thousand. Um, there are max limits that the transaxle is supposed to go to, so you got to be careful with these. And of course, if you're not watching this for X700 type stuff, none of this is going to relate to you. Uh, but for my X700 guys, um, this is what I'm looking for. So hopefully we're looking for close to a thousand, like I said, somewhere in that 950 range. So we'll see what happens. All right, so a couple interesting things I noticed there. So it seems like the rated like 950 or whatever, and I'll have to kind of search it just to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. Uh, it seems like that 950 or so was only showing when I was at idle. So it actually had over a thousand. It looked like, I think 1100 it was. Um, at That was about one bar under full throttle there. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. So, I mean, this tells me that like, as far as the implement goes, everything's working well hydraulically. Um, it's getting the pressure that it's supposed to, uh, good pressure for everything. So pretty handy tool just to have. Um, and then, I mean, you could see as I backed the, um, the throttle down, uh, like I said, uh, you had a little bit less pressure there, but it was still more than I was expecting. Honestly, I expected it to drop down a lot further. So kind of neat. I learned some stuff with this just in that little bit of time, but, uh, yeah, as I said, neat little tool to have, easy to make, cheap to make. Um, so definitely, definitely look into it, especially if you plan on doing any shimming or anything. That way you can check to make sure you're not exceeding the maximum rate of that transaxle, which I'll put that rate in the video. Um, that way my X700 guys know. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching this. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, please ask. Uh, please look at the description. I'll, I'll put the information for this item in there. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.